Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of React Native. So today we are going to learn about the Apollo client for fetching the data using the GraphQL. So let's get started. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like it. Okay. So those who haven't watched my Apollo client series for the React, you can go and just watch it. Okay. So we are also discussing about the Apollo client over here also. So let's see what exactly it is. So Apollo client is basically a client state management library that simplifies the managing remote and local data with GraphQL. And Apollo client in an intelligent caching and declarative approach to data fetching can help you to iterate faster while writing the less code. I will show you the demo what exactly I'm fetching. Let's uh, go for it. And you can see that when I kill this app, okay, I'm killing this app. I'm just opening this app, okay, right now. So you can see that data is loading using the GraphQL Apollo client. Let me open this using the code. And where we go with this one, go to the terminal, control shift T, let's add the code. Okay, so let's see what we have added over here. Okay, so here you can see that app.js file where we are using navigation stack, create stack and Apollo client library. You can see that here we are, what we have to get started if you go and check here we have to add the npm install Apollo client and the GraphQL. These two requirements are there for the GraphQL fetching data. Okay, then we have a sync storage to uh, store the data on the local state. Then we have a persistent cache. Then we have using the activity indicator, indicator that is for the loading part and the status bar over the top, right? There the home screen, chapter screen, and the screen options. Uh, home screen. Here you can see that there is a home screen where we are get all the chapters. You can see that this is the pattern for getting the data. So chapters query fetching the data, chapters ID, number, and the title. You can see that there are chapter item where we are header and the subheader we are passed. Otherwise. If there is a header, then we have said a subheader we are passing, else we are passing the only title part. Then pressable or press this one header dot and subheader, it will open that one. Okay, then we have a navigation use query chapter. So here you can see that export default. Here we are just fetching all the chapters that we have here. Okay, in the home screen, you can see that chapters use query for chap passing the chapters, right? And our, then we have a flat list. You can see that chapter item we are pre, uh, using this one chapter item here we go with this one they have mentioning all the data chapter and the number or the header title so you can see that chapter on press navigate dot navigate chapter and the chapter item okay so uh, there is a new query that is called use query and there is how it exactly it is about the uh, chapters query okay so you haven't if you haven't watched my previous react uh, tutorial for the graph uh, apollo client you can just go and check it where I have mentioned, let's uh, discuss this also. So here we have uh, fetching part. Okay, here you can see that. Here you can see that. Uh, let's uh, go step by step. Where is app.js file, right? Here we have the cache in memory cache. Okay, so here we have a cache in memory for the constant const client, Apollo client. So you can see that. Here we have options and uh, default options, watch query, fetch policy, cache, and the network. Okay. Then we have a default function app in the persistent cache. We are storing all the data in the async storage. Then set loading cache to be false. Okay. And then before loading all the data, we have set activity indicator with the loader. Right. And after all the data fetch, then the options with the title GraphQL guide is coming up and with the chapter screen number and the title. Right. You can see that here. Number. And the title if they have the sub child then otherwise it is uh, title only right so let's go to this one code so this is that one this is the initial the, where we here we can see that we have defined the apollo client right this is for the which url you are going to pass it and get the data from it right and caching options this is already as in memory cache so you can see it over here there is a cache new memory cache Cache is an instance of in-memory cache, which is Apollo client uses to cache the query results after fetching item. Let's do the fetching item part. So you can see that. 
okay so uh, run this code open the console and inspect that what should the data property locations are fetching so this is the query that we are trying to fetch the data from the uh, get locations part right you can see that here we are also doing the same part so here we are not doing let's go to the home screen okay and you can see that here we have mentioned chapters we want query chapters chapters we get the id number and the title okay the same thing right and after that connect to the your client so we have already client created to the client connect to the client and the apollo provider we have already used an app.js file where it is so you can see that apollo provider client right in the app.js file after this fetch the data with the use query after the apollo provider is hooked up you can start with requesting data using the use query to you can here you can request the data using the use query parameter you can see that use query we have added and then const get locations part is there so how we are getting it use query get location so get location is defined and you are getting the uh, hit the api and get the data using the use query get location same thing in the home screen we have a chapters query and then you can see that use query for fetching the data and passing into the data part okay and after that we are just doing it in a flat list and chap data dot chapters render that item right so you can see that so this is the that that we have integrated the apollo client with the graphql okay so any doubt any query or any issue that you are fixing in uh, while implementing this graphql apollo client and the graphql just let me know in the comment section i hope you understand what exactly we are doing with the graphql and apollo client so this is the video with the help of the react native you can see that the demo of that one okay uh, i will just kill this app and just load it you can see that after there is a green okay it's loading the data it's loading the data you can see that activity indicator then after loading it will show the all the data right so fast caching they have so you can use the graphql uh, caching system apollo client for that one okay any doubt any query let me know and thank you so much for uh, appreciating my videos and uh, giving the feedback and the comment on that also so thank you so much all the react native subscribers have a great day thank you so much for watching our video have a nice day